Um, let's see. Uh, they they seem to have an issue with with Brian McLaren. Uh, is one of the guys they bring up specifically. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of McLaren. I, I've read some of his writings. Um, I don't agree with everything he says, but then again, there are a few people in this world who I do believe. I do agree everything that comes out of their mouth. Um, uh, the church must conform to modern culture. Um, I, I don't think that he ever said that the old ways must be discarded, as, as this email seems to imply. Um, what, what, a lot of what the emergent church movement is, is it, it's trying to gain a, a better understanding of what the scriptures are saying by going all the way back to um, to get enhanced cultural knowledge of the time period in which the, the books are taking place. Um, and, and when they go back to the culture and what was specifically happening in, for instance, say Rome, when Jesus was crucified, and they can read between the lines and see these stupid little details that, that we look at and go, well, why would they put that in there? That's so pointless. That's so stupid. Well, they put them in there purposely, not not because it's it was just fun to throw in random facts. Th those details meant something to those people. So um, I feel like a lot of a lot of the uh, the background research that like guys like McLaren and Bell and Claiborne do, uh, that's uh, that is is just a better getting a better understanding. And a lot of these. Uh, these new emergent ways are simply just readopting practices that the first, second, and third century churches were doing um, that have kind of been tossed by the wayside because of some of the uh, the, the gimmicks and the and the ways in which church has changed over the last two thousand years. Um, I, I think that the emergent movement is basically saying, well, what was wrong with the way they were doing it two, th uh, two, three, four hundred B uh, A.D. Excuse me, and. Uh, and what and what have we lost through this this process? So they're going back and they're saying, well, maybe we're losing something through all this translating from culture to culture to culture. Okay, I don't know how long this is going to be, but I'm sure I've rambled quite a bit, so I'll just cut to the uh, the chase here. Uh, one of the criticisms of, of Rob Bell, and Rob Bell is probably my favorite pastor, author, theologian um, out there right now. I think he's just fantastic, and I know he's one of the more famous ones. But uh, he's just my favorite. Just his delivery, his his way of going about things is just I think is fantastic. Um, he's he's criticized for this quote. It says the problem is one of his many outrageous statements is this is not the same old message with new methods. We're rediscovering Christianity as an Eastern religion. Uh, and and, the, and the, the criticism goes on to say in another he promotes the feminine side of God. Okay. Um, I'm sorry if I, if I sound so critical. Um, I, I apologize. I, I don't mean any of this in your direction. Uh, Jim, it's just I, I'm, I hear this stuff a lot, so it's, it drives me nuts. Um, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean any, anything personal to you. This is just kind of the, the theology side of me kicking in and, and, and whatever. Um, it says, this is not the same old message with new methods. We are rediscovering Christianity as an Eastern religion. Um, I have no issue with that statement whatsoever, considering that... that um, Christianity was an Eastern religion. I mean, it, it took place largely in the Middle East. Um, so, at, at, at the heart of it, it's certainly not a Western religion. Um, it, it People in the West would like to think it's a Western religion. I mean, it might, I guess if you're looking at where it is now, it's probably, yeah, now it's a Western religion. But it wasn't. For the first few hundred, maybe even the first thousand years, Christianity was an actual uh, set faith system. It, it was, I don't think, that it, there was any debate that it was an Eastern religion. So when he says we're rediscovering Christianity as an Eastern Eastern religion, I think what he's saying is we're stripping off all the ways in which uh, Christianity has been tangled up with the Western way of being, the Western lifestyle. That, that Christianity and the American dream were never meant to hold hands. They they, they kind of fly in the face of each other. Um, and I think that that's what Rob Bell is talking about. And he talks about other emergent leaders, uh, Doug Pigott, uh, Dan Kimball, Tony Jones, Dallas Willard, um, and and Robert Weber. I, I the only ones in that that list I know is I know Dan Kimball, Tony Jones, and Dallas Willard, and I think that they're all fantastic authors. But I seem to be more in line with the emergent style. And the final criticism that they seem to be giving here um, is that uh, in a nutshell, the social action trumps ex uh, internal issues as subjective feelings over absolute truth. Experience trumps reason and sound doctrine. That's the criticism. Uh, I think it's just basically it's a little bit of a shift in how we interpret our relationship with God. Um, they, they, what they're saying is, uh, and I've said the emergent movement is very reactionary, a kind of against 
uh, the, the, all the ways in which they believe that um, North, North, North America evangelical church got it wrong. And, and basically, um, I think the focus for the emergent church is no longer on personal piety. It's no longer on, I can't do this because it's a sin. I can't do that. It's a sin. Uh, that seems to be that the main focus of mo modern evangelical Christianity, wherein um, um, I think what what the emergent church is saying is, it's not about us. I mean, yeah, g yeah, we are encouraged to have, to be re responsible for our actions, and and God does care how we how we live in in a, in a just in an individual sense, but it, it's so much more about us than it is about me. Um, and that Jesus was, was a very social action based guy so um, it's not a, it's not my personal piety it's the needs of the community that are more important in, um, and that, that are at the primary focus and and which allows people to to minister to people that they normally would not would not have ever been able to get close to um, because uh, the typical evangelical mindset would be that that by getting too close to these people you yourself could be corrupted as well and, and nothing is worth that risk and the emergent church is saying, well, these people are worth the risk. Um, and, and that can be taken to extremes, obviously, as well. So um, I think uh, uh, typical American or North American even evangelicalism and, uh, and the emergent church can both be taken to crazy, unhealthy, uh, polarizing points. But I think that, that both have some... Um, both have some valid points, and I think I'm I'm more emergent because I am more of a reactionary person. I've seen all the ways in which church has failed, and it doesn't work, and it breaks my heart. And I guess I am I want to I want to see the world changed for Christ. So, with that being said, I think the emergent church has some very important ideas uh, to add to the conversation. It, and the, all of them might not be correct, but. I think that, that asking the question, starting the dialogue, getting the ball rolling is, uh, is the first step toward, uh, toward thinking Christianity through the way Christ, I think Christ intended us to. But, oh, I can't even imagine how long this video is going to be once I chop it down. Um, Grandpa Jim, I'd love if this would start a dialogue, if you felt like it. If, if, you, if you feel like this is too much or you, um, or you feel like I, I'm too, I got too personal or too heated or whatever. I apologize, it's 2 o'clock in the morning and um, I'm exhausted so my brain isn't processing things the way it should at this time of the night. Um, if you took offense to anything, I am. I uh, greatly, greatly apologize. I have the utmost respect for you. Um, I, I think that, that you're a, a wonderful, uh, not only wonderful Christian, but I think you're a, you're a fantastic human being. Um, and, I, and I'm not just buttering your bread, as some would say. I'm, I'm, I'm being sincere about that. So... Uh, take care. Have a great night.